share x is for sure my favorite way of screenshotting on my pc and just sharing screenshots a couple things that put it above the snipping tool i like that i can take a screenshot you'll see that it got a, it got uploaded it's like in a google drive now that i have personally set up i love that um, and it's just in the cloud, accessible to any device that I have. There you go, it's saved and it's not taking up space on my computer. There's also a lot of things that you can do extremely quickly that otherwise I would throw it into Photoshop. I can blur things with it quickly, add arrows and steps as in like bullet points, one, two, three, four, et cetera. Um, we'll get into it. It's really good. It's extremely thorough. Let's just go ahead and get it started and installed. So as always, links will be in the description for everything here. We're gonna go with the um, pre-release latest. You can hit, click the drop down, and then we can just go ahead and download the EXE. Run that shit. More info. Run anyways. I already have it, so you this won't pop up for you, but it does for me. First thing that I will do opening this up is the hotkey. So what do we do to take a screenshot? I always prefer capture region. I want the ability to always capture region. I can do the full screen if I want to, but I, I have no need for capture the entire screen, capture active window. Like you can record with this as well. I don't mess with that. That might be a huge benefit to people. You can, you can record a GIF, do a tutorial guide and send that to someone. This would be extremely helpful. But my bread and butter here is the first one, capture region. I have it set to control shift enter. Um, and I just do it on the right hand side of my keyboard where they're all um, on top of each other. And I just roll my fingers across it and it takes a screenshot. I love that setup. I don't know if that's default. I think that that's probably what I personally did. Moving on, we can set up the destinations. So we can click on that and destination settings. This, we will see all of our options. These are all the places that you can have your files automatically sent and uploaded to you. I'm just going to go with the tried and true Google Drive. Here is the one caveat to this. So I really like Firefox browsers. I cannot do this on a Firefox browser. So just FYI, if you're using Zen, which is a browser that I promote on this channel, you should go into your settings, go to your default apps, and just for right now, change your default browser to Edge or Google Chrome or something Chrome based, because I'm going to click connect here. On a Chrome-based browser, it needs to be able to access my account here. So now they're linked, but let's go ahead and actually go to the Google Drive. And now that we're here, let's make a folder. And you can call that ShareX or Screenshots. There you go. Open it. Now we need to go to the search bar to get the ID of this folder. Um, and that's all you need. If you copy the entire URL, it's not going to work. So just copy that last part, which is the ID, paste it in. Now I can exit and let's just take a screenshot. So I see it here. It has a Google Drive link. Let me just click on the link. And now it opens just the photo. But if we go back to the drive, now you're actually seeing it here. Um, and it's, uh, let's see, is it in that folder? All right, perfect. So now we have it set up that it's just like you take a screenshot, it'll get access to the Google Drive and upload it there. Uh, this is what it looks like. And I love specifically the, the magnifying glass so you can get pixel perfect screenshots. You know exactly where it is. So that's just a quality of life feature that's like really nice. You have a toolbar at the top here. And the things that I find to be the most helpful is that you can do steps. So we have steps here and I'll just click um, step one, step two, step three, step four. So if you're ever trying to show someone a little guide in a screenshot, this is so much faster than taking the screenshot, sending it into Photoshop, etc. whatever. I love it. And you can obviously do this in like the snipping tool, throw it into paint, do that. But just, just having this all built into one, I love it so much. So you have the steps. Um, that is a huge bonus to me you also have a blur option as well as a pixelate option i don't know i don't quite know why you would do this but you can stamp in a cursor like you're seeing like i did there you can do a text background annie's getting in the way 
And then there's this thing up there called the smart eraser. So I'm going to add the smart eraser here and select this text and I want to hide it just like that. I didn't do anything. It just knows what color and how to do that. Um, and uh, can I smart hide that? Amazing. And then more standard is we have arrows. So number two could be talking to this. Like, I think you guys get the point. Nothing is like an insane standout, amazing feature, except maybe that smart eraser. I think that is like, that is something that typically you would throw it into Photoshop and have to manually do and spend the extra couple minutes to do that. But ShareX is great for the basic functionality and then the simple way that it has also added these amazing quick quality of life features to just share an informative screenshot. So that covers up my setup and my use case for ShareX. If you guys have any tips, if you want to share yours, I would love to hear it. Otherwise, shut up about it.